Alrighty folks, today we are going to begin our discussion about magnets. So uh, you see this little animation right up here and uh, what this is, it is a type of kind of putty that has a bunch of uh, little bits of magnet in it and uh, they are, you place a uh, stainless steel ball bearing in the middle and you can kind of see the magnets consume it. So uh, kind of interesting thing to see there. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Our learning target for today is I can explain how magnetic poles interact. So go ahead and set up your notes. Our essential question for today is what is a magnet? Our guiding questions are what do magnets do? What is magnetic force? What are magnetic poles? And how do magnetic poles interact? Go ahead and pause the video and set up your notes. When you're ready to go, you can go ahead and restart the video. Alrighty, what I'd like you to do today, if you have the ability to, is I would like you to pause the video and go find maybe a magnet on your fridge, uh, if you have any of those, or if you have a magnet around the house, uh, go find a magnet and uh, try, try it out with a couple of things. I would recommend you try it with the following things. First off, try it with uh, the fridge and see what happens when the magnet gets close to the refrigerator door. You can try your magnet with some paper clips and see how the paper clips respond. If you uh, can find another magnet, try to uh, place the two magnets next to each other in different positions and see what happens. Maybe try some other materials as well, but see what happens when uh, how the magnet interacts with different materials. So go ahead and pause the video and see if you can go do that activity. All right. So now that you've had an opportunity to kind of see what a magnet does, let's talk about what exactly is happening here. What you observed was magnetic force, and magnetic force is one of the four fundamental forces of the universe that we talked about. Uh, it is the other side of the coin of electromagnetic force. So uh, those are two of kind of the same thing, but different, but magnetic force is uh, part of that. So magnetic force is the force, which is a push or a pull, that a magnet applies to another magnet, metals like iron and cobalt, or moving charges. So um, if you take a look over here at this little uh, animation that we looked at earlier at the beginning, what you are seeing is magnetic force. That uh, ball bearing is made of an alloy of iron, and in that putty is magnets. And you can see the little bits of magnet kind of reaching up and pulling themselves over the uh, up to the iron in the ball bearing. And so you can actually see the magnetic force. Um, if you were able to do our demonstration earlier with a fridge magnet, you may have noticed that paper clips are pulled towards the magnet, and depending on how you position two magnets, they were either pulled towards each other or they were uh, pushed away from each other. So, uh, the closer a magnet is to a magnetic object, the stronger that magnetic force is. So. Uh, you may have noticed that if your magnet was a ways away from paper clips, they didn't really do much, but if you got really close, they really zipped over there really quickly. So uh, that is going to be magnetic force. All right, so magnetic poles. The magnetic pole is the region where a magnet's force is the strongest. So all magnets have two magnetic poles, the North Pole and the South Pole. So these poles are on opposite sides of a magnet. If you have a magnet that is shaped like a uh, rectangular bar, they are going to be on opposite ends, uh, so the two edge ends of the bar. If you have a magnet like these uh, here in this demonstration, these little coins, each side of the coin is a different pole, north and south. And what is important to know is that like magnetic poles repel one another and opposite magnetic poles attract one another. And we'll talk a lot more about that going forward. But north is attracted to south and south is attracted to north. North repels north and south repels south. So what you're seeing here is that all of these coins are set up at magnetic coins and when you place one in they start to flip and what they're doing is they are flipping so that their opposite poles are all facing each other so that they can line up and be next to each other so those are magnetic poles alrighty so 
Go ahead and take a four question quiz here uh, to see if you understand the material that we just discussed today. Uh, go ahead and pause this video, take the quiz, and then we will go through the correct answers here in just a moment. Alrighty, the push or pull that a magnet applies to another magnet, material like iron or moving electric charge is the magnetic force. As the distance between a magnet and a magnetic object increases, the magnetic force is going to decrease. The farther a magnet is from another or from a magnetic object, the less force it exerts. The regions on a magnet where the magnetic force is strongest are the magnetic poles, and like magnetic poles repel one another. So if you did all of those uh, that way, you should have got 100% correct. So sounds good, folks. If you have any questions, post them in the discussion.